Hi guys, it's Wraith from Blackwood Games, back again and playing Elite Dangerous. In today's video, I'm actually going to be giving you all a brief introduction to the Full Spectrum Scanner and how to use it. So, when I first joined the game, I was given a, a bit of a poor description on how the deep space scanner works and the full spectrum scanner works. I was generally told that I simply had to come into a system, honk, and continue on my way and that would be enough for the cartographers. Um, it wasn't until much later and a little bit of research on my uh, own that I discovered the full uh, spectrum scanner. So in this instance we've actually gone through and um, the full spectrum scanner as you can see um, I've had to go in and bind it so when I was able to bind it we go down to the bottom full spectrum scanner and you can see that um, I've got it now bound to keys down here so we're going to come back in and begin to use the full spectrum scanner so I'm just going to hit my bound key and as you can see down the bottom here um, we, it brings up a new page but down the bottom we've only discovered 16% of this system so I'm going to go ahead and use my deep space scanner to get us started and once again still only 16% now if you look over the filter uh, filtering on the full spectrum scanner you can see down the bottom right how we could be see receiving signals from gas giants moving further across you could go for water worlds which are quite valuable um, to the cartographers ammonia worlds rocky worlds earth-like worlds which are also very uh, valuable to cartographers then ice bodies metal rich and high metal uh, content bodies asteroid clusters, concentrated signal sources, and transient signal sources, and then going right down to the back here, uh, and we can see that um, not, not much of that is in this system. However, when we go across here, we can see that automatically there are ice bodies. Now we filter it with our hotkeys moving back and forth, and when we do, we can see that we're very close by to something here. So we're gonna just go ahead and click on in that sector of this uh, system. And I'll go like that and look at that. We've discovered a nice body. All right. So to really quickly go through that, let's do it. Um, we've got 11 signals to find. There we go. And we'll keep going. Now we're going to generally ignore the uh, transient signal sources because all they are are things that uh, will change every time we enter into the system. You will, all you need to do is find all the bodies in the uh, system itself. So we're going to quickly go around. Um, we're going to follow the uh, orbit lines, which is generally a good way to start. So there's another one. And not quite there, but yeah, there we go. Six, seven, eight, nine. Keep moving. 10 and that is there we go system scan complete so if you hear that then you've completely scanned the system and that includes actually turning around and um, using your deep space scanner which I've got bound to a fire group so if we go across here we can see under my fire groups I've got the data link scanner the computer scanner and the deep space scanner so if you hear that after using the deep space scanner, you won't need to actually fully, uh, full spectrum scan the system. Anyway, I hope that helps. And um, if you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.